Hey, this is Anthony Threads TV. We can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new River Road Mortar Jacket, available at Rivzilla.com. Jorge Sevilla, this bud's for you, my friend. This is the River Road Mortar Jacket, the replacement of the original mortar, and the new version has its own chassis. If we look at it, you're looking at a three-season cold weather leather. Not a lot of perforation, there's not a lot of venting, and there is a thermal vest liner, as well as thermal that's going to be baked into the sleeves. But here's the catch. The mortar is a convertible jacket, so if you're riding in colder weather times and the weather starts to warm up, you can remove the sleeves, which come off by default with the thermal lining and remove the thermal liner from the vest that's left and you're left with a leather vest. So again, you have that flexibility factor of wearing this in a couple configurations. Now, quick note on sizing. Buzzsaw to my left. You got mortar written all over you. Six foot, 215, 46 inch chest. He's wearing a size 46. American cut fits him spot on. And in the range of leathers from River Road, you step up to the scout after this, but you wouldn't get the flexibility of this functionality. Keep in mind, Jorge, if you're concerned about the fit, we're gonna ship for free over 39 bucks. And I'd love to hear your comments, your questions, your feedback, and what more we could tell you about the mortar jacket. For anybody out there, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, click the little bug right up there. Now, diving into the basics, and it really is basic after that. You're looking for one mil grade cowhide that's going to be embossed. Notice big metallic pulls and snaps pull this bad boy together. You have your outside left breast pocket and basic hand warmers. If we look down here along the sleeve, you're going to have, again, metallic, metallic zips, and then you're going to have some perforated leather that pulls things together from behind the scenes. Now, I will call out, from my standpoint, I'm not big on jackets that don't have armor. There is no armor here, so again, no shoulder armor, elbow or back armor, but the leather's better than wearing a t-shirt if you're out there on the road. Turn the face away from the, there, Mr. Wildman. Now, if I looked at Ed here, standing in this configuration, we might as well remove a sleeve. I'm going for it, Ed. So I'm going to lift up his arm, reach around to the front there, pull that sleeve right up, and there we go. Now we pull that sleeve down here, give it to me. Ah, it's gone, we'll do the other one. But what you would have seen was the inside of that sleeve absolutely has a thermal component to it that goes away and now you're left with a fully finished style vest. And that's the beauty of this jacket, that is the convertible nature of the mortar. Now, if Ed lifts his arm really quickly, you're gonna see two basic snaps down here along the side. Again, very simple, turn backwards for me, Ed. Remember, no back protection here, that's okay, it's more of a style piece, but you could have plenty of room to put your colors on there and you should be good to go. Come back around to the front. Now, if we look at it, we might as well do the other side. I'm gonna go down this way, zip up there, turn just a little bit here, there we go. I'm gonna do the dance here, we'll get this guy off and show you the inside of it. Here, give it to me. God, pull it off and hand it to me. There you go, come back around. Here's what I was talking about. This is the thermal lining that goes on the inside. So again, when you want those sleeves on, you're gonna stay really warm. But when they come off, you now have the ability to remove that thermal vest liner and you're just gonna have a very simple leather vest to rock in summertime riding. Now, if we open it up, Zip it down. Here's the circumferential zipped out thermal lining on the inside. Notice that's removable. Now I'm in full vest mode. Mesh liner with a pocket on the inside. And I believe we have an extra pocket here on this side as well. River Road, if you're listening, that needs to be a holster. You've done vests with holsters. Why can't I put my gun in there? But again, that's my, that's my nitpick. Jorge, I'd love to know if you want to put your gun in there. Now, the next step in your journey is to click right here. Read other rider reviews of the River Road Mortar Vest Jacket Leather Action Item at RevZilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we're going to ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at RevZilla TV. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.